Alright gamers, welcome back to Pokemon Crystal. I'm Invoyance, and if you may have been seeing on Twitter, uh, I've spent a lot of time playing this game on my own free will. Uh, based on Friday's video where I kind of just aimlessly went after Raikou and Entei, didn't get a single encounter, kind of frustrated me, so I kind of was like, alright, well maybe I'll just do it all on my own accord. So I did, and uh, as you'll see, this is probably the faster way to do it, yeah? Um, You'll see that I did. It probably okay. So Entei, because we've been, we've had an encounter with Entei. Entei was not very difficult to get. I just had to keep having the opportunity to be in the same room, and I used the Master Ball on Entei. Um, and then Raikou was a son of a bitch. Um, so I didn't have the Master Ball at that point because Entei I think has a higher speed. So I I was like, okay, well that's the one I'm gonna use the Master Ball. On. Raikou, I basically just kept using Me Look with my Gold Bat that I caught at uh, Mount Silver. I didn't show that, but uh, and of course I did. Um, I did see a shiny Tangela, um, which also really sucked because I it, it fled. I didn't catch it. Um, but anyway, uh, Raikou I caught uh, with an Ultra Ball like after multiple attempts, and I kept going between Mahogany Town and the route next to it because that's the quickest. Way to, and then I basically just had Super Repels until we got an encounter, and I probably reset the game a good like. 20 or 30 times, because I don't want to waste too much money with the Super Repels. Um, but with, the, with that being said, I do need to go spend some money. So the whole reason that I was chasing the Legendary Dogs in the first place is because you actually cannot... Um, let's see here. You actually can't... Um, I want to buy some of these. You can't go to Ho-Oh in this game unless you catch all three Legendary Dogs. Uh, that, that'll be explained in a second when we go to Tin... T or not, Tin Tower. Um, is it Tin Tower? Yeah, yeah, I think it is. Uh, the reason we're going to Blackthorn, though, real quick, is uh, because they don't sell Ultra Balls in Ecritique City. Um, so, I gotta buy a shit ton of these, because, as we recall with uh, Lugia, I spent 60,000 on those. Yikes. Um, what else do we need? Max Repels. I used a bunch. I think I have a nugget we can sell. <laughs> it doesn't help anything, but it, you know. Yay. Um, I'm also gonna throw away some crap in my, uh, in my, uh, backpack. Alright, so, um, I also have these still. So it raises speed, um, who's slow? I don't remember. Okay. Gyarados kind of slow. And uh, what is this one? Special. We'll raise, uh... Victory Bell, I guess. I don't know. But, uh, anyway. So, what today's plan is, is we're gonna go find Ho-Oh over at Tin Tower, so... Um... Oh, I clicked Bill's PC. But nonetheless, there's Raikou, there's Entei, and then Lugia's somewhere. Or Suicune's there. That's what I meant. So, um... Got them at least. So anyway, going to my PC is what I was trying to do, so I could throw some crap away. I did also grab the experience share from uh, Mr. Pokemon. Basically, what that is is that you hand him the uh, red scale that you got over at um, that you got over at the uh, Lake of Rage, and so he gives you that in exchange because he's like, "Oh, I I want it," so you so you give it to him. <laughs> That's really it. Um, oh yeah, I forgot we're not in Ecritique. I was like, I'm walking up to somewhere that we're not supposed to be walking to. Uh, but anyway, so we go to Ecritique City, and then where we fought the sages, and we've talked with the sages multiple times, where even where we found Suicune even, was over at the uh, little uh, house here up at the top of the city. So there's the old men here, I don't think these guys, two towers, two Pokemon, but when one had burned down, the Pokemon flew away, never to return, that was Lugia. Tin Tower shook, a Pokemon must have returned to the top. Please, do go on. So, so the tower shook, which is uh, an indicator of something. So the sages aren't in the room, they might be in the tower, so we'll go over to the tower. This is only when you get all three legendary dogs, which is a pain, but uh... When we get into the Tin Tower itself, talk to the man. ho -Oh appears to have descended upon this, the Tin Tower. And there's also a staircase, so... 
Um, I believe you are being tested for your mind from uncertainty in advance. And then uh, this guy, now go. Okay, so I have a confession. I checked this already, and I was like, oh, fuck, I need to record. And I didn't. So I apologize, but I already did the dialogue here. He basically tells you, you know, you caught all the legendary dogs. Uh, so ho ho is testing you or something, so... I don't remember if there's wild Pokemon, but I'll just spray repel if there is. But uh, this tower is kind of annoying and difficult to descend because you need a bike. Alright, no. <laughs> so I'm thinking about, uh... Okay, so yes, there are encounters. I was thinking of what's the tower in, uh, Hoenn. Um... Sp Sky Pillar. The, uh, the one that, um... Rayquaza is in. <laughs> I was thinking about that one, but uh, I hit the button and it said, uh, no, and voice isn't the time to use that. So I'm like, all right, well, hopefully 10 max repels do us right, but there's a lot of back and forth in this thing, so uh, my point exactly is this is an unnecessary area, uh, unless you want a full heal, in which case it's, uh, it's a privilege to be there. This is going to be a lot of back and forth, so... You know, be prepared, and I do not memorize this. I, I, I don't like this uh, tower at all. It's very difficult to get it get through. So this is a useless room again. As you see, there's an item there. So now we're over here. An item again. This one actually might be a real staircase to something. Okay, now it's another dead end. So let me go over to here. There's another item I might want to grab here. Oh, I can't even go around the pillar. It's swaying in the, in the sand. Sand? In the, uh... What's it called? Ah, that went the wrong way. Fucking hell. So then we climb up, and that's the worst part. You can't use the bike, so you're, you're stuck walking this entire way. So we go this way, and then this way. That's how we get the item. And the Ultra Ball. Now do I recall how to get to the next area? It's not either of these ways, so... This is the next area. So more, more ramps. <laughs> these just go... Okay, I thought they were going in a circle, but no. I think these only count as one step, so they're not totally worthless. Oh, I just went... I shouldn't have gone there, because now we're back down to this, uh, this floor. That's what I'm talking about, is how annoying these, this floor is. Or this, uh, building is. So we know not to go down that one anymore. Get Pokeball this way. A rare candy, don't mind if I do. And then, uh, this is another room that we shouldn't have gone into. Awesome. So now we'll find an alternate path. I think we're down two repels already, so this is, uh, this is great. Uh, for my ratio. This is a way we haven't gone yet. Which I think leads us to the same middle section here. I don't know if we've actually been to this middle section. And another staircase to an area we shouldn't have gone to. Awesome. It's, it's not a lot of fun, let me tell you. But it is a challenge. The World Islands was a challenge to get around to, so... This is an exclusive to uh, Ho-Oh. Being a difficult Pokémon to deal with, but... So, okay, so that's the wrong way. We know this now. <laughs> So yeah, Lugia is difficult to get to because the World Islands is a pain in the ass to navigate because there's a bunch of them. And then this one's a pain in the ass strictly because it's, uh, it is. It just is. So th now, yeah, okay, so this is just the wrong way entirely because this goes to this again. So, you know. I think at this point we're, we're established that this is the wrong way. <laughs> um... So, it's one of these ways here. So we'll go this way downward first. 
downward to the left is wrong. Fucking hell. Moving up the stairs again. Okay, so, well, there goes the rappel. Uh, that rappel felt like it lasted forever. Should've got 20 rappels, but whatever. Down to the left. Oh, I went too far. Um, let's think. Okay. Got it. And another Pokeball right here. The Max Potion, if you will. And another room. With a bridge. Climb the bridge. And more of these. Is this... Oh, fuck. I shouldn't have done. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> now we gotta do this again. I was like, do these go anywhere? Do these have an item or anything? And no, they don't. It just sends you back to where we were going anyway. And, uh... Is that that way we don't go? We go this way. There's, uh... These warp panels? <laughs> Gotta say, I don't recall the warp panels. to get a nugget out of it, so I guess I'll screw with the warp panels for a nugget, I guess. Uh, what does this warp panel go? To another item. A max elixir. Awesome! <laughs> so now we'll go out of that mess. We go backward with our uh, teleporters here. Another item right here. Max Revive, okay, that's actually kind of nice. I don't think I've had to use one yet, but there's also these double wide ramps here. And I shouldn't have done that either. Awesome. Okay, so that is not as, I thought it was going to be more convoluted than that, like, you know, I have to go through this teleporter, like, it's, now I get Sylphco. There's another teleporter, <laughs> so the rappel runs out. Uh, I need to use another, probably. And an item here. Oh, you know what? I never showed it because, um... Because I told you I triggered the thing by accident. Where is it? The rainbow wing. There it is. But we got the rainbow wing from that sage. Who, I, who you know, told me to go on or whatever. And so, I, like I said, I felt bad. And I probably could have just not saved or whatever, but I misjudged that, so... I apologize. Gotta be close to the top. We are at the top! And there he is. Ho-oh. Um, so just because... <laughs> I feel bad doing this. But just because uh, I don't know how long this battle is going to take, this is actually just going to be a short level, or a short video. And then we'll get into the ho -Oh battle next time. So let's see how many how many uh, balls we got here, because I think we'll be okay. So 30 Great Balls, 60 Ultra Balls, and no, no Master Ball. <laughs> So, um, we got, like, a hundred, shy of a hundred tries, uh, at catching this thing, so, hopefully it goes well, hopefully it doesn't go as long as the, uh, fight with, um, Lugia, but, uh, this is, this is the last legendary we're able to capture, so, um, we're, we're gonna have fun with this, I'm sure, but, uh, this is gonna be it for, um, this episode. I know it's very short, but like I said, I don't know how long this battle is going to go. This could be half an hour, so I don't want to make an ultra-sized level or episode and we can just, you know, pick it up on uh, the next episode. So I apologize for the cliffhanger again. I'm very good at this. It's like the second time in a few weeks that I've done this, but uh, this is going to do it for this episode of Pokemon Crystal. We'll battle ho -Oh in the next one. So uh, with that being said, thanks for watching, and more than ever, take care.